Jeff and I met up at the Sheffield Mojo when I was doing the, the circuit up and down motorway in my first group, The Birds. We got on really well and he was telling me about this gig with the Yardbirds and kind of spoke that, well, if we ever are not in the setup we're in now, one day we'll work together. One of the good things about the Yardbirds times was that we'd come back from a tour of maybe up north and, and even at two o'clock in the morning we'd stop off at the Cromwellian Club. And after the Yardbirds I thought, there's nothing to stop me from going back there on my own. And uh, the guy on the door, Jeff, nice to see you back. That night, there was not much going on. But there was Motown record playing, and I'm thinking, this is sad. I'm sitting alone with a beer. And there, was, there was one other guy in the corner, and it was Rod Stewart. <laughs> we talked a little bit, um, and he said he was forming a band. He'd left the Yardbirds. I was out of work, and I think I may have mentioned Woody and said he's out of work as well. So it was like three hour work musicians, and we formed a band. His collaboration with Rod Stewart was kind of legendary. One of the, I mean, one of the best things that Rod ever did, as well as Jeff on that Truth album. It was the huskiness that was rare, you know, to have in a white singer. I loved it. Waller, myself on bass, and Jeff on the guitar, the holes and the spaces that it left for Rod's voice in its rawness. Jeff used to really treasure Rod's voice, you know, and, and treasure all, all the things that could happen in those spaces. Band. He had a voice that was so the vital in, instrument within the band that you didn't need a rhythm guitar. Jeff's virtuoso performance is tied up with uh, Rod's blues-type vocals on that album. Our, um, that was a, absolutely a seminal album. Truth has like rock by Plimsoll on it. It's got I mean, it's superstitious. It's really my favorite Jeff Beck stylistically you know it's more sort of in your face rock and roll jeff didn't just want to play what muddy waters had played and howling wolf he wanted to take it more chicago-ish and more electric and just take it out of that basic idiom that it's in you know and electrify it make it more more arrangements even though the songs are 12 bar blues we arrange the songs to sound more interesting right let's go just voice, I thought I'd sing it for you. There's no singing, come on, come on. Sing whatever you want. Just stop me, I'll try something on this first few chords. If it doesn't suit the sound, start stopping, right? Make your voice community in the background. Mickey Mouse, he didn't want to know about Rod at all. He said, you're the artist. Your name is on the label. I said, no, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in being part of a great rock band or a blues band. Mickey just believed in uh, the old dollar make it as quick as you can and really wanted us to be a pop band. <laughs> 